hi guys before i start today's uh, topic whereby i want to give you tips on how to use a calculator some tips that you didn't know on how to use a calculator to fill quadratic equation tables i want to quote uh, a guy called charles de Lint. he once said that i don't want to live in the kind of world where we don't look out for each other. Not just the people that are close to us, but anybody who needs a helping hand. I can't change the way anybody else thinks or what they choose to do, but I can do my bit. I'm doing my bit to assist those who can follow me, those who want to get more tips from me, do also your pit by subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for that, for you for your subscription. May God bless you. Now, when we talk about filling a graphical equation, filling the table for graphical equation. For instance, you can. Uh, have like um, a quadratic equation it can also be used for cubic equations like you draw the graph of the line y equals to negative 2x squared plus 5x minus 1 now what you do using i want to use a calculator fx 82 ms that's casio any calculator you can use another calculator as long as it has the same features and i know they have the same feature so what you do, for instance, in this case, the first step you do is to look at your table, the table, the values of x that you have been given. Like now I have negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. The difference between the numbers that I'm given of values of x is 1 because 0 to negative 1, you get 1, 0 to 1 is 1. As long as there is a constant difference, of one in this case. So there must be a constant difference. And then, if the difference is one, I'll multiply by two, then I get one times two is two. So that means if I move from negative one, two steps to the left, I'll find negative three. And therefore, my work here is to press negative three. You press a negative, then you press three. Then after pressing that, the second thing you do is you press shift. After pressing shift, you come and, and press this uh, RCL. If you press this RCL, then you press this bracket, the crossing bracket. After pressing the crossing bracket, you go back and press alpha, this alpha, that means for you to get the second function, you press this alpha, you press this alpha, then you press this x. That means now you are able to write x because you press for the second function. You press x plus the difference was 1, plus the difference that was 1, so plus 1. So uh, after that, the second step, you press now again shift, then you press rcl then you press this crossing bracket after that after pressing that uh, you press this replay the replay here you press the left hand uh, the left side of the replay here that means it will give you some blinking cursor in that blinking cursor which you are given you press alpha so if you press alpha, that is for the second function, then you press Paul, that means you are able to, give, to, to, to you, have, you have written the colon. So, and therefore, the colon, after the colon, you write the equation that you are given. The equation that you are given, like uh, the one we have here. So what I'll do after press, after having now the colon, you now go back for you to enter now x, remember I want to write the equation. So I press negative in this equation of mine, negative 2. Then I press alpha, 
I press alpha. Then I come here, I press x. I press this one, which will give me x. Then I press this one to give me a square, x squared. Then after x squared, then I press a plus. Then after plus, then I press, I, I press 5. Then I press alpha. I will again press this bracket to have an x. So it will be 5x. Then I press minus. Then I will press 1. So I shall have my equation on the screen of the, of the calculator. After having the equation on the screen of the calculator, the next step, the next step is to press an equal sign. So the equal sign, after pressing the, equal, the first equal sign, you will get negative 1. That means it will give you the first value of the x. Then after getting negative 1, press another equal sign. Second, second time. It will give you negative 8. And then press again equal sign. It will give you 0 on your screen. Then press equal sign again, it gives you negative 1. Press equal sign, it gives you 1. Press equal sign again, it gives you 2. Press an equal sign, it gives you 2. Press another equal sign, it gives you 1. Press equal sign, it gives you 3. Press equal sign again, it gives you negative 4. So that is, I have just filled my table within a very short time. Yes, I, I want to talk about when, the, uh, when you're given a difference of like 0 0.5, for instance, like the one I have here with the same equation. If uh, the same equation and I'm talking about a difference of 0 0.5, like here, negative 0 0.5, 0, 0 0.5, 1, 1 1.5, and all that. What you do, uh, 0 0.5 times 2, you find it's one. So I, it means I'll move one step to the left. If you move one step to the left, you'll get at negative 1.5. So at negative 1.5, that means I'll start by pressing negative 1.5. After I press negative 1.5, I'll come and press shift. Then I'll press RCL. Then I'll press this bracket. Then from there, I'll press my alpha for the second function. Then I'll press where I can now write x. I'll press this uh, crossing bracket to get x. Then I'll press plus. Then I'll press 0 0.5 because the difference was 0 0.5 and not 1 like from above. Then from there, I'll press shift. Then I'll press RCL. Then I'll press the crossing bracket. Then from here, I'll come and press on the replay. I press the left side of the replay. Then from there, it gives you the colon as usual. It gives you a blinking cursor, which enables you to write the colon as usual. Then you press alpha. Then you press Paul in this case, but other, in other calculators, it might not be exactly here where you press and then get that colon. In simple terms, follow your calculator and see where to press. Press that, get uh, your what? Your colon. Then from there, you are able now to write the equation. You write the equation like we said from above. You start with the negative 2, then you press alpha, uh, you press uh, crossing to get x, and then you press a square and all that. If it was a cubed, you know how to write. Then you do it that way, from there, you, the equation will be there. After getting the equation, the next step, you press an equal sign. If you press the first equal sign, you will get a negative 0 0.5. Then you press equal sign again, you will get a negative 4. Press that equal sign again, you get 0. Press the equal sign again, you get negative 1. Press the equal sign again, you get 0 0.5. Press the equal sign again, you get 1. Press the equal sign again, you get 1. Press the equal sign again, you get 2. Press the equal sign again, you get 1.5. Press the equal sign again, 
you get two. So if you continue, you will still fill the others if you wanted. So that is how you easily fill tables, quadratic, cubic, all those kinds of graphs that you can draw. Then from there, after filling the table, you have your, your good scale that you in your Cartesian plane. You draw that graph smoothly. Then uh, you see this is a very genius and faster way of doing uh, cubical uh, questions or quadratic questions, uh, drawing graphs without struggling. Uh, I encourage you to follow my link, uh, my, uh, my channel, and then uh, you shall be pleasant. Thank you so much for listening to me.